Let's be honest, filming yourself outdoors can be very embarrassing because honestly, it's already embarrassing talking with your camera in your living room, imagine in front of others. And I know filming yourself is not comfortable for anyone. Having a camera on a tripod outside can be called very out of normal because people don't do that usually, right? But today I decided to fight this awkwardness because I just want to be able to make films on YouTube and fight this feeling that I had inside of me. And once you're able to melt down that awkward feeling, you're gonna find a space within yourself to be more creative. And the first thing I want to share with you today is about composition. Composition is nothing more than just having a photography eye and looking in the surrounds around you and finding place that would make a great photography. As said by Danny Gavert, he only puts his tripod and shoot a video whenever he knows that would make a great photography. Now I want to talk with you about leading lines. Leading lines is whenever you have a geometrical composition within your shot that the lines leads to the main subject. So your eyes are going to be catching the main attention in the shot that in this example, it might be me. So whenever you're outdoor shooting, don't forget to rely on leading lines to help you out to build a nice composition. The second composition that I really love is depth. Depth is whenever you have information in the first ground, the middle ground, and the background. Using depth whenever you're setting your tripod or composition can definitely help your shot to be more visually appealing. Yes. Now I want to talk about contrast. Contrast is whenever you have something that is unbalanced in your scene. That can be from texture, shapes, or even colors. And if you're planning about using contrast in your colors, you can think about the place you're planning to record your videos and plan your outfit accordingly. You can look into outfits that's gonna have colors in the opposite side of the color wheel to unbalance it whenever you're shooting on the specific place. As an example, I chose an orange hat in this green environment. When shooting yourself outside, don't forget that the tripods are your best friend whenever you want to shoot yourself, because then you can just position your camera anywhere. And I used to think that having a tripod outside could be a little bit too much. You know, it's an exercise. The more you bring it along, the more you'll be your friend and the less you're going to be shy with it. And filming yourself inside of your house can be one thing. But another thing is filming yourself outdoors. It can be very embarrassing bringing your camera in a tripod and talking with your camera outdoors, but I've been to this park a lot and I've seen people laying down on the grass, getting a tent on their bikinis. And you know what? That didn't change my day. So me doing something out of the norm is not gonna change their day. And as everything in life, the more you practice, the easier it gets. The more you try, the more you do, the easier the feeling of the awkwardness will get dissolved. And if you're still shy and if you still don't have the confidence to bring your camera along outdoors with yourself, you can either start practicing in your house, start getting the camera shy out of you inside of your own house, and then slowly coming outside and choosing times, for example, very early in the morning where there is not much people around you. Or maybe you can choose a spot in your favorite park where there is not a lot of people walking by. So you can just start practicing and having that moment with your camera.